Welcome to Naresai Technologies. Uh, this is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discussing about uh, two more methods related to stream object that is one is concat and the one is reduce methods. First, let me start with what is the use of concat. The name itself telling it is going to concat uh, two stream objects. Maybe those stream objects contains uh, same type of data or different type of data, nothing but homogeneous object or heterogeneous objects. So, let us uh, start concept with one small program, it is a very simple method this is. So, let me take one uh, list object, list of which contains a uh, string elements li equal to new array list of new array list of string, new array list of string. Yeah, here I am choosing one uh, predefined package like a java.util and uh, this for this I am adding some content, here I am adding content like a ram, here I am adding content like a ram as well as uh, here I am adding content like a sam as well as as well as I am writing content like a raj, raj here I am writing like uh, a varn. So, this is my content on top of this content or on, on top of this string object I want to generate one stream object what is that the stream of contains a string s1 equal to li dot li dot stream good. So, up to now I did write one program to create a stream object. Now, let me create let me take one more list object now it is going to contains already I told you we can able to concat the two types of objects may be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Let me take here heterogeneous for more clarity. Now, li 1 equal to new array list of which is going to hold integer data from 1.7 onwards uh, no need to write uh, word like integer in this uh, place also. Now, li 1 dot add li 1 dot add 100 and later I am taking copy paste here the data is like 100, 200 and this is 300 as well as what year 400, as well as what year 400. Now, on top of this stream object I am creating, I am creating one stream object stream of integer s2 equal to here I am writing like a li1 dot stream method that is enough. Now, what I am doing here is and finally, what I am doing s1 I am concat with uh, on top of the s1 on top of the s1 means on top of the class like a stream uh, interface like a stream I am calling one method concat method. So, if you open concat then you can understand it is what type static type it is what type here static type. Now, under the stream under the stream we have an in we have a method like what here concat we have a method like concat under this stream we have a method like a concat so that is what we are calling by using what here interface name concat stream dot concat what I am writing here very simple s1 comma s1 comma what is this s2 now what concat will do here it will returns see it will returns again what here some extents of see again it will returns one stream object. Let me write a stream stream of what uh, object stream of object yes of yes. Now, let me print individual data. How can we print individual data? Very simple by using for each method for each method for each for every input for every input this consumer see for every input for each let me move the cursor ok let me do one thing for each what consumer will do observe for every input we are printing some operation what is that operation just uh, printing operation system dot system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln of x system dot out dot print ln of x yes content 
let me take here lambda. Yes, let me print this data. What I am getting? Whatever the content which we have in the S1, the same content I am printed in the variable. Whatever the content which we have in the S1 and uh, S2, that content will be copied into variable into one more stream object. See, S2 first S1 copied, later S2 copied. So, based on this order. For example, if I am giving like S2, then whatever the data which we have in the S2, that will be copied into where? S, later S1 data. So, that is the use of concat. So, it is useful for concatting two, two stream objects, stream object content. Okay. And uh, finally, reduce. For example, I have a lot of uh, objects. These objects commonly I want to print into a single object. Then how can I s1 dot reduce? Here I am taking like a x and one more value like what here y. Now, what I am writing reduce method, reduce method return some value. Yes, return some value. Now, here I am writing like a return return reduce method return x x plus uh, y. Now, what reduce method returns? It is a optional object, optional which contains what here string. Now, o equal to, now carefully observe, s1 dot reduce, it re requires how many inputs? Uh, two inputs x and y. What happen here? X will take input. X will take what here? Input. After taking input, see internally what will use as internally what it will use as reduce method internally uses what here? Binary operator. It is a it is a functional interface, binary operator. Binary operator. Let me open this. See, input type both are what here same and finally, it will returns what here one output type t, not this method, internally it will use a supply or something by function internally c, indirectly this method will coming to the binary operator, but here both the inputs are different and output is different, maybe same, but if it comes to the binary operator, both the inputs and outputs always what here same only. So, binary operator both inputs and outputs are what here? Same only. Here one input and these are the inputs, inputs. Okay. Now, what I am doing? First input like RAM and SAM. After that, we commanding together and return that value. So, RAM SAM is there. And again, Raj will add it. Again, Varun will add it. Then finally, what I am doing here is O dot get method. And before that, I am writing like, I am writing like, if, if O is present, if O, in the O, if the data is present, then only I am reading, otherwise not reading. Then what I am getting finally, Ram, Sam, Raj and Varun. See, here how many inputs values we given? Four inputs value, first Ram and Sam, later Raj will added, later Varun will added. So, all the four objects, I reduced into what here? One single object and finally, place into where O and after that I am checking whether the data is available or not, if available and we are reading, understand or not. So, here we, we have to understand internally it will use as binary operator. Okay, na? This is uh, information related to uh, concat and reduce, multiple objects will convert it into single object that is reduce and concat two different object, two different stream object concat into one single stream object and concat means what here, here concat means adding the content, one stream uh, uh, object, both the streams object, two different stream objects are placed into one stream object, maybe both the stream objects are same as well as what here, different, understand or not. So, these are the two methods related to stream object, I hope you understand the program related to reduce as well as what here concat.
फॉर मोर वीडियोस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब नरेश आई टी चैनल थैंक यू